Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing another video today from uh, Wellfleet, Massachusetts in Cape Cod in the uh, United States of America. I'm here for a couple more weeks on a sort of semi, semi vacation, semi visiting in-laws, that kind of thing. Um, I wanted to talk today about something that I know I put out a number of videos about everything related to living in Israel and uh, something happened today that I think uh, might be of interest to other folks who are traveling internationally whether you are a uh, long time Israeli or you've just made Aliyah and you're new to the uh, tumultuous world of life in Israel, uh, this information might be useful. So every time I've traveled outside of Israel, which is not that frequently, I typically do one, sometimes two trips abroad uh, per year to see family, that kind of a thing. Um, I've always made sure to purchase health insurance. Now, the um, insurance company or the healthcare, HMO, Health Maintenance Organization, in Hebrew, Kupat Cholim, that I've been with pretty much since the start of my Aliyah journey, has been at Maccabi. And as I've said in a couple of videos on this channel, um, I really, really recommend them. I think they do a terrific job. And anytime before I travel, as soon as I have my uh, dates for traveling, I always go ahead and book a travel insurance. So that includes health insurance. And um, also for the last couple of years, I've also gone for the Corona-19 um, add-on just in case there's any flight disruption due to the uh, changing course of the pandemic, uh, that should be covered as well. Um, so I've never had to actually use the uh, healthcare coverage while I'm in the US or anywhere for that matter, except for today. Uh, so I woke up a couple of days ago um, and I noticed that my left foot was like super sore and red and I've suffered from gout for a number of years. I've had a few gout attacks. I'm not yet taking um, daily medication, but uh, for those who don't know what gout is, it's basically a form of arthritis that uh, comes when you get too much uric acid building up in your body and it's super, super painful. So I was trying for a couple of days to medicate it with you know, ibuprofen and basically avoid having to deal with all this stuff, uh, but unfortunately it just wasn't cutting it. I was in too much uh, pain, like waking up from sleep every few hours. So um, what I wanted to talk about in this video was just for anyone who's wondered how it actually works, accessing that healthcare uh, you're paying for as a travel policy in the US. Uh, here's my experience. I can't say this is gonna be everyone's experience. I just wanna say how it worked for me because as I understand it, this is kind of the standard uh, methodology. So once I decided that I needed to go see a doctor here, my first move was to uh, call Klal. Uh, Klal is the insurance company that Maccabi uh, works with for providing this travel coverage. And it's one of the biggest companies in Israel. They do pensions, they do insurance policies. Um, so they're a very uh, big company. They have fortunately a 24 seven Moked. Uh, Moked in Hebrew, in Hebrew of course means a, a call center. Um, and basically, so even if it's the weekend in Israel, you don't need to worry about that. They have an emergency Moked and I was able to get through to somebody uh, with Klal in about one minute. So that was actually a really, really uh, impressive and reassuring when you're having some kind of a, you know, unexpected health situation a couple of thousand miles from home. Um, it's nice to get someone, a human, get through to a human pretty quickly. Uh, so after doing that, the uh, person in the Moked basically talked me through the steps. The first thing that they uh, that they told me to do at least is to download an application called Hatzlachon Shel uh, Klal. So it would be a good idea if you are traveling and you have health concerns to download that uh, before you travel, just in case you run into somewhere with uh, bad data coverage. So I installed the application and uh, then it prompted me for what kind of assistance that I needed. Uh, so there's a button there uh, for um, Anisiyua, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Ani, Anisakukla Siyua Bechul or Anisarik Sarik Siyua Bechul. I need support outside of Israel. It's in, it is the applications in Hebrew is the only language. Uh, so if you don't know Hebrew, you're gonna have to use your Google Translate skills. It's not even in Arabic, uh, just FYI. Uh, so I clicked um, Ani, onto this button and then it uh, gave me my United Healthcare policy details. Now these were already generated and in the system, so it might be actually worth uh, getting your United Healthcare details before you actually leave Israel. So United Healthcare is the uh, American insurance company that Maccabi uh, works with, or Klal works with. Maccabi works with Klal, and Klal works through, works with United uh, in order to provide healthcare coverage for traveling Israelis in Israel. So once I clicked on this, I got my uh, policy, my digital policy up on the screen. And that's basically uh, the first thing that you're going to need. You're going to need a policy number 
um, with United and then you're going to have to find a, a healthcare facility near wherever you are in the USA that takes United Healthcare Insurance. Uh, so the first step was that. Now, one little uh, trick that I recommend doing because we're uh, vacationing in Cape Cod, which has spotty internet, I screenshotted uh, that policy just so that if the data dropped, um, I would have that on my phone. I recommend uh, doing the same thing because uh, you you never know when you're going to lose data or whatever. Uh, so that's the first thing you need to do, and then you need to find a United uh, place that takes United. So even though we're you know somewhat rural uh, where we're holidaying in the U.S., it actually wasn't difficult to find a a, a clinic that did walk-in appointments. Um, you know my healthcare situation was pretty low level. You know gout is technically urgent care, but it's not, you know, a serious emergency for the most part, as I understand it. Um, so I had a pretty seamless visit to a healthcare facility here, uh, located just a few kilometers outside of uh, Wellfleet, uh, sorry, outside of Orleans, which is also on Cape Cod. Um, and I was in and out in about one hour. Now, just a couple how the experience went. When I checked in with the receptionist, she did need to take all my details. And this is where having any English uh, documentation is going to be a lot quicker. Uh, in other words, if you have a driving license issued with English characters, uh, the Israeli stuff uh, might be a problem in some places like your Teodat Zahut. So that's just one sort of uh, pro tip, if you will, is if you have one, uh, it's very, very recommended to carry uh, some kind of proof of ID that will be accepted and which is in uh, English uh, so that the folks can understand it here. Uh, so that was the first thing I had to do. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it. And then I was basically checked in to their system. And within 20 minutes, I saw a uh, doctor who you know took one look at my foot and was like, okay, this is gout, here's your prednisone. Um, so that was the first part, um, having to look up a United Healthcare facility. They do have a lookup uh, thing on the internet. So you can put in your zip code in the US or your location and you can find all the providers who are close uh, to you. Um, so after I did that, um, they rung in my prescription to CVS. Now I'm not originally from the USA, so this was uh, something I didn't know about. Um, people watching this video might be from America and you know how the system works, uh, but they basically called it into a specific CVS. And then all I did was I went up and picked up my uh, prescription. Now, something else to point out is that my prednisone cost four dollars and we asked the pharmacist what the usual price was for however much uh, prednisone i was prescribed and it, he said it was like twenty dollars so even though it's only a travel policy you are getting uh cheaper uh prescriptions if you require them and you're also getting cheaper uh, visits it did say on the united healthcare card that there would be a fifty dollar deductible or also called i think a copay um I, i'm not sure if they're the same thing but basically you have to pay 50 bucks even with the coverage um, in the end, the receptionist was able to put through my, my Maccabi policy through their system and uh, she didn't uh, send us a bill. Uh, I look a bit dumb after making this video if we get a bill for like 2000 bucks, but um, I really I really don't think so. She said it was approved and there was no uh, payment requested or required. So that was really good as well. So basically, I would say today's experience, my only prior knowledge of healthcare in the US is that unless you have the right coverage, it can be astronomically expensive and very, very bureaucratic and complicated. Um, I have to say, you know, being with Maccabi for years, this was a really, really fluid experience um, between the researching process and speaking to the moquette, etc. It took me maybe one hour of planning to find a place to get uh, treated. And uh, yeah, I got the medication for four bucks and my gout, uh, my gout attack is already uh, on the men. So yeah, um, definitely something uh, personally, you know, I, I am an anxious person, but I always do worry every time I travel outside of Israel, what happens if something goes wrong, God forbid, to my health and I require healthcare. And uh, based on today's experience, it was really, really good, really impressive. Again, my recommendations based on what I did. If you're uh, with Maccabi and therefore you take out insurance with Klal, and therefore uh, you end up with United, it's worth doing two things if you're really worried before you travel. Number one is downloading the Hatz uh, Lechon Shal Klal, their, um, their uh, outside of Israel uh, emergency uh, assistance application before leaving Israel, just in case you uh, don't have much data while you're there or while you're here. And the second thing is just looking up the uh, facilities in your area that take United Healthcare as an insurance 
you'll find uh, urgent care clinics, uh, regular appointment clinics, uh, doctor's practices, etc. really scams, scams the gannet. Hope that video was useful. If you do wanna get more videos about everything connected to living in Israel, I do have a YouTube playlist called Living in Israel uh, that just contains videos on this topic. So I'll put a link to that in the description. I hope this was useful. Uh, I hope no one leaving Israel requires medical care, but if you do and when you see Maccabi, uh, this may be one experience, but it was definitely a lot better than I expected. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.